so kind and generous I don't know how you keep on giving And for your kindness I'm in debt to you And for your son Julia is 13 years old she was born really with the seizure disorder. She doesn't have a diagnosis. It's a seizure disorder. And she is nonverbal, non-ambulatory. She eats everything through a feeding tube, a G-tube. When Julia was born, our life changed overnight. And she started having seizures immediately. And at about three months old, we found out that this would pretty much be her future. And it was very, very sad. It's still a one day at a time journey. It's still very difficult. but. She's a, a sweet little kid, and we just love her just the way she is. Alyssa is a year old. She turned uh, a year in July, and she has trisomy 18. Trisomy 18 is a genetic condition where kids with her condition have an extra chromosome. And uh, with her condition, there comes a bunch of anomalies. Um, a lot of kids have heart conditions, uh, issues with lungs, um, a host of uh, inner organ problem. Trisomy 18 is typically called by uh, the medical community incompatible with life. Um, most of the kids uh, are born alive, who are born alive, um, typically only survive a few hours to a few months. So we're really uh, pleased and, and feel blessed that, that she's here and has survived. Um, Lily and Adam were 24 weekers. Um, they were one pound nine ounces when they were born. They spent 143 days in the NICU. They both had heart surgery. Um, they both, uh, li Lily had two laser eye surgeries. Lily was um, much more sick than Adam, and we almost lost her four times. Um, she is legally blind now. Her prognosis is unknown because her recent MRI showed moderate brain damage. Adam had a brain bleed at birth and has enlarged ventricles of the brain. So recently he's started with seizures. She takes medicine about six times a day. Um, everything is through a G-tube, um, so we have to be very careful with that. You have to be very careful when we move her. She had a spinal fusion last year, so she has a very long rod in her back, she's very delicate. So uh, she's getting heavier every year, so it's been more of a challenge um, working with moving her around and getting her from point A to point B. Alyssa's illness uh, has affected our lives in many ways. Um, we weren't aware of her condition prior to her birth, and within, I'd say, three or four hours, we found out that not only did they think that she had a lung mass, but then um, we got the news that they felt that she wasn't going to survive. So just bringing her home had made it had made a significant difference in our lives. Uh, I was working part-time and um, just with the concerns for her immune system and just her, her, ex her extended needs, uh, that meant that I was going to be home with, uh, with all the kids. Uh, my husband was taking time off from work to be with her in the hospital. I think the most difficult part in um, managing Alyssa's health needs would probably be the unknown. Uh, it seems like we get a quiet period where um, she's doing, she's strong, for, especially for her condition. You know, she has a wonderful personality, <laughs> which makes it a lot easier. But I think the biggest fear is just the day-to-day, -day, wondering, um, you know, if it's a good day, if it's going to stay a good day. And I think the most difficult part of, of daily life for me is um, incorporating all the therapies into uh, the day. It's the, you know, juggling with twins and then juggling, you know, sick twins. Julia comes with a lot of equipment, as all special needs kids do. Getting her in and out of the bath and to the bath was just nightmarish for years. We have been wanting to build Julia a proper bedroom and handicap bathroom for years, and we just didn't quite have enough money saved. We both work full time, we've always worked full time, and we've tried for years to look for funding, and all the funding out there is either for no income or low income families, and there was really no one out there to help you know, a working couple. So finding this organization has been amazing because they help people that are helping themselves and we couldn't have done it without it. We applied for Fred's Footsteps uh, just because of the added stress, financial stress, dealing with Alyssa's cost and care with uh, reduced work hours just made it really difficult to make ends meet. I, I, can't, I can't even express the stress that, it, that comes along with, you know, how, 
choosing between whether or not to buy groceries, pay bills, you know, do something, you know, for the other kids. Well, when we applied for Fred's footsteps, uh, the babies were still in the NICU, and, and so we were um, preparing for them to come home, um, looking at a variety of additional expenses. Actually, Fred's footsteps picked up um, a number of our mortgage payments, which was really, really helpful to, to not have to worry about those larger expenses. Uh, my wife had just uh, stopped, uh, resigned her teaching position, and so we knew, you know, we had a loss of an income, and, and of course life was radically changing for us. As most people say they're working, both of them, and, you know, full time, that should cover most things well. In this case, like most cases, <laughs> it, it's still going to be a struggle, you know, a lot of times uh, to do what, what you guys helped us do over there, to expand that room. I mean, it's, it's something you don't hear a lot about. The funding from Fred's Footsteps has been a great help to our family. It was really helpful um, to be able to just meet our whole family's needs. A lot of agencies and foundations are willing to help families with kids with medical needs, but unfortunately has to go directly to those medical needs, and um, they forget that the whole family's affected. And the one thing we appreciated with Fred's Footsteps was that they looked at the whole picture and the whole family, at the needs of everyone involved. The, the funding has really helped us um, with a sense of security and um, you know ease some of our burdens in terms of the daily bills. And Brian actually on his own has something for you guys he'd like to give you. Want to tell them about it? Well, um... Stay right here, though. I'm giving all my money to, um, Fred Footsteps to help the next people. It's been a real blessing to have Fred Footsteps in our lives. So it, it all came together in a great, in a great way and really helped us get through some rough uh, couple of months. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Footsteps. Thank, Thank you, Fred's footsteps. footsteps. Thank you, Fred's footsteps. Thank you, Fred's footsteps. footsteps.